man. Do you want me to lead the way? I'll lead the way. Go on then, you fucking lead the way, yeah? You um, do that. You lead that way. <laughs> you know, I'll lead the way. Yeah, back out, eh? Fuck it, I'll take it over already. Aye. Uh, as you may have noticed, I haven't been here a while because I've been in agony. I needed an uncle. He didn't know the directions to Stepping Hill. I should have put that down. What? Like, why, why, why is my friend not coming to visit me in hospital? Jesus Christ, you're still going on about this. Right, you was in hospital. You've had your operation. You're all right now. Get over it. I'm not fucking hell. Not a lift. Do you know what I mean? Do you know how far Nothing. it is to Stepping Hill Hospital? It's like 25 minutes, if not It's quick on the, on the M6 there? Yeah. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Do you know how bad the traffic is? I ain't got time. Have for I that. ever been there for you when you need me? Uh, right, all right, you've been there for me over the last 22 years quite a lot. Get over it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've been there for you half your life. Anyway, yeah. we're not here for my agony. And you can't me ask, visit me in no, hospital. I, I don't like hospitals. That's the, the reason. The, 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 the boring. It's fine. The boring. My dad or my mum didn't come either. Which you know is mean? a little well, bit Well, maybe boring. she should reconsider getting ill. I should, I, should re, I should reconsider my circle. Yes. <laughs> it's what I should do. Producer Ethan cared. <laughs> did he? Did he go and see you? He, he wrote me a message. Did you? Yeah. Oh, little fucking brown nose over Said, there. I, I, I hope you're all right on behalf of one area strip for Paddock. And that was but it. there, you see, on behalf that, that includes behalf, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, did there you, you go. You're welcome. Did you dictate while he wrote that down? Yeah, <laughs> if you want. Yeah, anyway. So we're back with another episode of Agony Uncles, where we solve your problems. Well, solvers are really, really, really... We do a lot of we heavy don't. lifting. See, you've been away that long. You've forgotten the, the main point of this. Yeah. We don't solve any of your problems. We don't want you to take our advice. So why we're not responsible touch? for the advice we give you. Um... Just, I don't know, someone to talk to, isn't it? Problem shared. Problem shared is a problem halved, unless you share with us. Yeah. And doubled. And then we, we laugh at them a lot. I remember that bit. Ah, we do laugh at them a little bit. Should we get into it, though? You can't laugh at yourself. No, you can't. Well, you can laugh at each other, though, can't you? Yeah, and the world laughs along. Exactly. A bit of shout, what's it called? Schadenfreude. Is that Schadenfreude? First one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Schadenfreude. Is no. that, what is that? You're the wordsmith. I'm, the, I'm not German, though. Is that German? Yeah. No, I'm not it's where you, like, say, Pleasure, pleasure in people's, people's pain. misfortunes, yeah. It's kind of what we based our life upon, isn't it? Yeah. Really. Well, I think it's because like, it's a northern thing. Now, it is it? a northern thing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I prefer seeing, I prefer seeing people I don't like suffering than me succeeding. <laughs> I put that in a message when United beat Liverpool 4-3. Oh, that's the best of both worlds, isn't I, it? I said, I enjoy United winning, yeah. but watching them get beat like that yeah, by that, any team. It, yeah. <laughs> Even if we're also yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah, I get that. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. It is a bit of a normal thing. Um, our first problem um, is as such. I was having a Thomas the Tank the other day and my Bluetooth was on. The audio from the porn on my phone was playing in the car as my eldest daughter was parking up the driveway. She keeps giving me dirty looks and asking for loans, then not paying me back. What should I do? And that's from late in Canning Town. <laughs> Can you imagine, right, the horror as you're there watching a bit of filth on your phone and then you realise the Bluetooth's on and someone's listening to that? It and must it have had you. some sort of inkling because it's, doesn't the sound not come on your phone, does it? If you've no, but it. like you might be busy. Yeah, and yeah. Then oh, you realize, it, right. And then you realise, right, rah, the Bluetooth's yeah. on, and I ain't listening to anything. It's not coming from my headphones. Who's listening to? Fair it? play to her for she blackmailing her old boy. I that. mean, yeah. I mean, Leighton, you're in a big bit of trouble here. Um, When's um, been, when have you ever been caught, Thomas the Tanking? I sort of got caught a little bit when I was younger. I, I, it's still like, I still don't know if I did get caught. I told you about this, didn't no, I? Jumping no. in the bath. Well, I was having one in me when I lived with mum and dad. No, I was only 27. And um, now I was, I was a bit younger. Anyway, I was running a bath and doing that. And then the door opens. So I was like, what are you doing? Jump, get out. I'm in the bath. So I jumped in the bath. Yeah. But the bath was red hot. You know, when you run a bath, it was red hot. So I screamed and jumped out of the bath. So I literally was like, ah, scream, jumps in the bath, <laughs> screamed even louder, jumps out of the bath. My feet were burning, and yeah, it was it was horrible. What, what about you? Hell? No, I don't think I ever, ever, ever Shut up, anything. man. No, I'm quite stealth with that. Ah, Make yeah. sure everyone's asleep and stuff. Or um, yeah. all, all the cubicles. Do you ever do that, that danger all, Thomas the Tank thing that All the cubicles at work closed. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hey, no, yeah, no, I never had danger wanking. We talked about that danger no, wanking. I'm when, when, that no. Yeah, what do you think Leighton should do then? He's getting blackmailed and all that. I think he should just say, the, um, just pay the loans. 
Do you really? Keep, keep, keep it going keep forever. Because it sounds like, what's she going to do? Tell the mum. I just think. I just, what would it be? That, I, I wish you'd describe what it was that it was actually watching. It depends, doesn't it? If it's like just, you know, normal filth, like, you know, man shags woman, yeah. you're fine. But if, if it's any like deviant, animal noises, I'd yeah, like noise, man, if it's something a bit seedy. You're in all sorts of trouble. Well, I don't know, man. You can't live your life being bra- blackmailed by your eldest daughter. Uh, if you were, if you were in a daughter's shoe, yeah, and you were pulling into your old man, and your yeah. Bluetooth came on, yeah. and it was, <laughs> yeah. what would you do? If I was in a daughter's shoes, yeah, would you? I'd be like, I don't believe in grassing. I just keep it to myself and just pretend it didn't happen. Just walk in and give a knowing, a knowing yeah, nod. Like, oh, hey. yeah, make little references to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's what I do. Yeah, uh, death by a thousand. What should we watch? Should we, watch, should we have a film night tonight? Yeah. Should we watch Big City Milfs? <laughs> Hey, what? Look, what do you mean? Big City Milf with strap on. Should we watch that? Yeah. Oh, you've seen that one already, haven't you? Oh, yeah, sorry, we don't need to watch that. Unless there's a sequel. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think we could do, you could do something like that, just proper play with oh, him. Play with his head. I, I think that's better than yeah. blackmailing the poor man. He's obviously going through it. He might give him an heart attack. Yeah. Um, so I thought we've helped you out there later. Basically, we told you just keep paying. Yeah. You, you, you basically, you're screwed, unfortunately. Um, the next one. I think I'm a kleptomaniac. I keep shoplifting random stuff. I don't even need. My garage is full of it. And the other day, my husband found a load of aftershave I'd stolen and he's now questioning whether I'm having an affair. What should I do? And that's from Anna in Enfield. Well, if she's just got a stash of aftershave, that just means like she's prepping for birthdays and Christmases. That would yeah. be the, the, the reason. Yeah. Uh, I've got a friend that does do stuff like with Christmas presents, like kleptomania. Like every Christmas, they have to steal one present. Really? Well, well, like, like a it, game. It's or? become a thing, yeah, like they, they enjoy it that much, sort of like it's every Christmas. They have it's to, like, we walk it's out. become a thing. Yeah, where they say, like, they, they, well, I can't, I'm not going to blow them up, but they'd either walk out of Asda or whatever with a cookbook or something, really? and then, like, they wrap it all up and say, I oh, miss who, shoplifting. Who, who, who's got the stolen present this year? Really? Oh, well, miss it, man. I used to love shoplifting, but my bottle's gone now. What I was your shoplift? I mean, the only time I was your shoplifting was when it was like like, like beer when we were kids. Bro, I, used to, I used to be a bad little kleptomaniac. Really? Man. I've always had issues, mate. I used to be into pyromania when I was little, and then kleptomania was a big thing for me. I used to nick things and throw them away. Just because of the buzz, buzz, the adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, the buzz, yeah, like, yeah. I've done that before. I've nicked things and even what, what, what tempered that then? Getting like caught. <laughs> getting caught. <laughs> yeah, getting caught. I did get caught a few times. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, but also getting responsibilities and getting to the stage where I can't afford to get caught. Yeah, like there was a time in my life where I didn't care if I got caught shoplifting. I didn't give a shit. And also, there was a time when it was like literally paying for things. There was a time when I did shoplift for money, and there was a yeah. time I used to do because I, I got a rush out of it. But then I got to the point where, like, I remember I told you the time where I didn't pay for my shopping in Tesco's and I had to go back and tell him. Because you felt guilty? No, because I was scared that I'd be in Tesco's again with my kids. And, and they'd grip me up and go, well, You've got a picture of you, you're a shoplifter, get out. So I went back because it was an accident. I'd gone for the self yeah, checkout yeah, and just walked yeah, yeah. That's the very cat, on, That's very honest. Cat, stuff, cat had got missing and I was on my phone, I was stressed. And then, yeah, I went back and said, Hiya. Um, I was here before with all the shopping. I didn't pay for it because I'm an idiot. And they went, all oh, right, okay. I said, I've f- just forgot. And yeah, like, yeah. right, no worries. They scanned it all and made me pay. And now you're pitched up there for customer of the month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I get a discount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now they let me shop. Here he is. Then yeah. he, 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 he paid he, he, for the shopping yeah. after he stole it. Mug. I used to know a girl, he used to, uh, Joanne, um, well, back in the day, who used to shoplift CDs to order. So we yeah, there was always some on one. We always always sit on the streets and stuff like like uh, yeah, one like latest Tupac album and she'd go and like half inch it and bring it back. And pay we got caught on. once, you know, in HMV. My pal nicked Use Your Illusion Two by Guns N' Roses, and I didn't even know he'd done it, but we all got gripped up. And this was about ninety four or ninety five. I swear to God, bro, I'm not kidding to you. This was on Market Street in HMV, right? They banned us for life. I did not go back in our HMV for at least twenty years. Like, like, just in case. case. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> like, I, I was fully like, you know. I used to swerve at like HMV all the time, yeah, no matter yeah, how yeah. convenient it was That's for me. That's so long just, that yeah. the, the dogs died of yeah, old age. <laughs> the, the, the store detectives yeah. died of old age. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He was about 60 at the time anyway. <laughs> this was like, it was literally like 1994 or something, and I did not go back in there for about two years. What did years. you do when the kids try and take you in? Like, like, I, can't, like, I, can't. I never, I never, like, it was never, a, like, there'd be times when I was down on the market street. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I've worked in town on and off for years. Where I got, I was nipping in, and I think, nah, it's a lot. So, yeah, it was a thing where I just did not go back in there for wow. years because I was still scared. Do, does she sound like her problem is the husband or is the problem the kleptomania? Probably a com- it's probably the kleptomania. I have two words eBay. Yeah. Flog it and buy him something nice. 
I'll just keep it till Christmas, man. I'll just say like, I was, I was, you smell a bit funky, and I was leaving. Wow, it's all <laughs> twist it, yeah. twist it on in. Also, as well, they say there's no such thing as a victimless crime, but shoplifting kind of is. <laughs> Next, um, recently my cat became ill. I took it to the vets, and they said it's going to cost 300 quid to get him treated, as he wasn't insured. My kids are beside themselves, but I'm not sure it's worth the money. What should I do? And that's from Jason in Macclesfield. I think that cat's found somewhere else to live. Is what happens with that cat? What really? Yeah, not kill it, but like, wow. like, 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 like I'd no. say it'd, it'd be like no, you'd like the films where it goes off into no. the woods and no. runs away. I've I've but been if through you're, this. If you're on your ass, you ain't paying three hundred quid for, for to save no cat, right? <laughs> you're not though. It's just not happening. Right. It's a cost of living crisis. You take the cat to the woods and you say, "Nice one, thanks for all the memories and stuff." Yeah, Have a nice little say. Go go horrible go going away party. No, get you know get it like it's. Favorite I've been fish. through this. You've been through it. 300 yeah. quid bro i'll tell you something yeah if it was a dog it'd be different nah you see if you're a cat person it's cats part of the family isn't it do you know what cost me more when my cat died god rest him little jimmy he um the the because you have to it's not it's not like evil can evil you don't get paid for the attempts when they try and fix the cat you got you like you, you, you you've got to pay no matter what do you know what i mean sorry it is like evil can evil you get paid for the attempts so if they try and save the cat and the cat don't survive you still got to pay you don't get your money back if the crap at the no job. no so like they tried to save the cat the cat died you still got to pay and also i'd have been screw it oh mate i was fuming bro right and then for a um a, a sort of casket and the ashes for for the cat it all in total came to about 275 quid for a casket yeah oh nice um yeah, so uh, I, I what, got it. What, what were they trying the kids to do? Kids were beside themselves in, with grief. Obviously, I'm not mocking you, the, the loss of your, your kids' cats, but what, um, what, what were they trying to do? What was the surgery? The, the cat like? had something stuck in his... He was only young. He was only two years as well. We had something stuck in him where he wasn't digesting properly. It was pushing on his organs. <laughs> so they said... That, well, they sold us a duffer, right? Because they went, oh, it'll be all right. We'll just give him this operation. This procedure will be fine. Sent my missus home, and then she, they rang her and said, you need to come back. He's crashed. And then when she got there, she went, he's passed away. Surely they should give you some sort of like, I don't know. Do you not get like a review of like how good they are at this operation? If it was you, no. you'd want to know the ins and outs about how many times you've no. been successful at this operation. No, but there's none of that. And then and then you still got to pay for it. You got to pay for that. And then obviously we wanted the casket and that. Because you didn't just like, they just took him in an incinerator, innit? And it's did, you, did you pay beforehand? No, but I ain't having the cat people chasing me. Like, it's bad enough when it used to be drug dealers and that back in the day. Yeah. Imagine dodging the cat people, the vets. Pets for home knocking yeah. on the door. And then the new cat, um, we'd already had the new cat, by the way. We didn't just replace the cat. We already had, we had two cats, one of them died. The new cat got ill and he wasn't insured because I'm stupid and I didn't think, oh, we better get him insured. So I had to pay a lot of dough out of the week. So yeah, I've been through it, Jason. Just pay the dough, man. Yeah. I'll Sell just, things out of the house. Do what you got to do. Don't get it's cats. part of the family. Don't don't get listen fish. to him. Get the cynic. Fish. Do you know what I mean? Fish. Fish is shit. You can't hug a fish. You can't hug a cat. My cat's quite friendly. Really? I, I Ronnie, never, the, never Ronnie never really now him. is. Jimmy, the other one, didn't want to know. No. And he used to say shit to you. You know, like he'd come in when he'd be sat outside for ages and he'd walk past you just go, yeah. <laughs> and you knew he was having a little dick yeah, yeah, in cat yeah. language. Do you know what I mean? You knew he was saying like, took your fucking time or whatever. Yeah. Um, right, here's another one for you. I went away on a lad's holiday and I've come back with an STD. I think we've had this one before or something similar. My missus is getting suspicious as to why we've not had sex and why I keep making agonising noises when I pee. Should I come clean? And that's but from it, Brett in Carlisle. He's not really coming that clean, is he? If he's nice, got something. nicely done. Uh, get to the clinic, find out what you got, saw it out. Uh, that's the issue, that's what you do. Yeah, you've got to buy the bullet there, man. You've got to, you've well, got, got, to, you've got to go to the clinic one way or another. Yeah, you can't, you can't just on, wait and like, let that just that, uh, fester. like fester. It's not, you're not going to naturally cure yourself. Sounds like it could, I mean, it could be anything that, which sounds like it could be chlamydia. Chlamydia. Oh, is that like, the one that's like pissing shards of glass? Pissing, so pissing. I think it's like a week's doxicillin. Have you had STDs? Like that. I've never had an STD. You can tell me. I won't tell anyone. I really haven't. So you just had the one then, yeah? I've just had the one. Yeah, is that I've, what you're trying to say? I've not had any. Have you? Right. I, I, I really can read between the lines. I, I really can say what you're I, trying to say is yeah, you've had yeah. one. No. Two. No. Two STDs. Two? No. Yeah. All right. I've had a UTI. You've had three STDs. I get it. You know what I mean? It's not, there's nothing wrong with having a few STDs, man. Jesus Christ, you don't have to like get all offended and be offensive about the fact you've had four STDs. How many have you had? Never, I did right. <laughs> Really? Nah, uh, so, no, no. so when we when we used to go to work and we used to play ST, STI bingo, 
and you yeah, didn't get you weren't the Scott first one to get you, a full line. You've known me for quite a while, and you know me better than anyone. That my thing back in the day was, was always it? getting absolutely fucking kiboshed out of my head. Yes, and it was true. never about how many women I could sleep with. Even when I was in Malia, I was never that guy. No, no, I was no. literally. I am just going to get absolutely levered. Yeah, we were, we were very different. We were. Um, <laughs> right. I feel we've cured that one for you, Brett. Yeah. <laughs> just go to the doctors. Um, people think I'm boring and unadventurous. They say I'm beige and make fun of me. What can I do to make people think I'm more edgy and fun? And this is from Gareth in Wembley. To make them more edgy? Yeah. I think you should wear a waistcoat, Gareth. That always makes people look edgy. Yeah, I think so. I just give up. Fucking hell. I think just like just sack it off. <laughs> what? Life. I just That's just... genuinely right in the history of us doing this show. <laughs> that is genuinely the worst advice we've ever given to anyone. Just sack it off. Give up. No. Right. If you want to be edgy, yeah, there's no. certain things you can do. There's not though, is there? I, I think I don't mean give up as in like end it all. Just take yourself off to a retirement home, yeah. live with your missus, and just don't disturb anybody else ever again. I think people who try too hard to be edgy. Just can't do it. You either are or you aren't. You can't. I just don't think. I think you should take up um, Anna's hobby of kleptomania. Yeah, getting like nicks for shoplifting that'll help you. What would what would Gareth nick? Do you think? Socks. He would do, wouldn't he? Yeah, uh, like socks. sort of a tie. Yeah, socks or a tie, something yeah. like that. Yeah, you, know, you need to nick something big, man. You like you need to go into an electric shop, like you know, Curry's or other ones are available, and just pick up like a. A s electric scooter and just run off with it. I'll just ride it out. Yeah, something like that. Not just nicking ties and yeah. socks. If you do, we go and nicking like a, a, a top class manager's strategy book. That's, that's what it could do. Yeah, Bit that's what you should football. do. Yeah. Obviously, we're not encouraging people to shoplift. Um, the final one. I don't get any recognition for my achievements. I've done really well at my job for years and keep getting ignored for accolades. Meanwhile, people who weren't as good as me are recognised. I was chatting to my mate Andy, who's often called Andrew, and he said the same thing. Right. This is from Dennis in Cork. You shouldn't do things for validation off other people. People who know how good you are know how good yeah, you are. The people, you know how good you are. Yeah. The yeah. people who, who care about you, yeah. you know, love is worth more than a PL Hall of Fame. And, and it's like, if you get ill, yeah, your friends don't need to come and see you in the hospital. You know they care about you. Without them messaging you or coming and seeing you or bringing you flowers or bringing you chocolates or showing any sort of communication with you whatsoever, you know that they care. That is, it's obvious. From a it distance. doesn't need to be said. Yeah, yeah. just remember that. Yeah. yeah. I have more chance of getting some affection from Dennis in Cork. Right, I've been Scotty. That's been Motte. Thank you for watching another episode of Agony Uncles. Please keep them coming. Scotty and Motte at gmail.com. And we'll be back ASAP with another episode. I've been Scotty. That's been Motte. Bye-bye.